Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two identical green circles with radius 4 along with another small purple circle. As you can see, and all these circles are tangent to each other. And now we are going to find the radius of this small purple circle. And now let's suppose that the radius of this small circle is r. And now we are going to find the value of this one. And here's our very first step. Before we go any further, let me just remind you that the centers of all these circles are A, B, and C. And this radius AD is 4 units. And the radius of this small purple circle is lowercase r. And now let's recall tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So in our case, this radius AD is perpendicular to this tangent line. That means this angle is 90 degrees. And likewise, this CE radius is also perpendicular to this tangent line. And now in this our next step let's go ahead and connect these centers A and C. Let me just go ahead and connect these. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw the perpendicular CF on this line segment AD. So let me draw our perpendicular CF somewhere point F is over here and here's our much nicer looking diagram once again. Now let's focus on the radius of this big green circle which is 4 and the radius of this small circle is lowercase r. So the length of this AC is going to become simply 4 plus r. Let's do one more observation. This line segment AP is our radius as well, which is 4 units. And this green line is our tangent line. And then according to tangent to a circle theorem, this radius and this tangent line are perpendicular to each other. That means they make a 90 degree angle. And now we can see that this APCF is a rectangle because all of its interior angles are 90 degrees each. Then according to the definition of a rectangle, its opposite sides are equal and parallel. So that means AP equal to FC and we know AP is 4. So FC turns out to be 4 as well. So this FC side is 4. And now let's focus on another rectangle FCED. This is also a rectangle because its interior angles are 90 degrees each. Then according to the definition of a rectangle, this side CE equal to FD and we know that this CE is lowercase r so FD is going to be lowercase r as well so this FD is lowercase r and now we know that this line segment AD this is the radius this is a four units this FD is lowercase r, then the length of this one AF is going to be 4 minus r. And now let's focus on this triangle AFC, the one that I have just shaded. We know that this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, the longest leg is ac. So I'm going to call this one side c. This horizontal side I'm going to call a. And this vertical side I'm going to call lowercase b. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a in our case is 4 square 
b is 4 minus r square and c is 4 plus r square now we are going to expand these binomials 4 minus r square and 4 plus r square by using these two formulas first one is a minus b squared and the other one is a plus b squared so let's go ahead and get started so 4 square is 16 and this is simply is going to become 16 minus 8 r plus r square equal to 16 plus 8 r plus r square and here we can see that this r square cancels out with this r square this positive 16 is gone with this positive 16 so we ended up with the 16 minus 8 r equal to 8 r so we got 16 r equal to 16 let's divide both sides by 16 to isolate r so our lowercase r turns out to be simply 1 so thus the radius of this small purple circle turns out to be 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye